video editing or not video editing video recording workflow so uh, i'm in no way shape or form a professional uh, videographer or filmmaker i'm just a guy who records the videos for fun and for living but nothing really professional i'm doing this as a amateur i can say amateur but nothing really really big and here i'm gonna give you some things that you need to know for the video editing workflow full disclaimer here again uh, that every single video uh, that you will create depending on who you are may be completely different from the things that i create or i even know so i cannot know what type of video that you want to create i just cannot know you can ask me directly if you want for your own workflow it's not a problem i'm always available but every single individual is creating completely different thing which is completely unique to himself so that what what makes you unique so just know that my workflow may work for you and it may not work for you as well i tried to make this workflow as universal as possible this is very very simple 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 workflow and it will work for the majority of the cases but not for the every single case so let's just talk about this and then you are you will decide whether this is the best option for you one additional thing that in a, uh, an additional materials i will include some youtube videos th that i myself watch or some courses or something like that i will include every single thing that i know uh, that allowed me to learn the stuff that i'm teaching you right now that allow me to uh, create better videos better lighting better recording setup etc etc because I don't want to steal their ideas i just want to show you where i learned it from and then you can learn it from as well if it will apply for you so here is recording workflow that you will need to do if you are doing the majority of the type of the videos that uh, we are talking about so we're, you're going to divide your recording session into two uh, separate uh, sec sessions basically uh, the pre-production pre and recording itself or you can call it production after this comes editing and we're going to talk about editing uh, in the later lecture i'm going to explain not, i'm not just explain uh, the editing i'm going to show you how to edit i cannot show how to record the videos because every single video is completely completely different and you can do so many different things that you need to come up with a recording yourself with your own experience unfortunately no one will, can teach you what is your style that's why i cannot I, I will i'm not showing you i wanted to show you how to record the video but i will just show you how i am recording video how i feel comfortable to do so and it, it will not be correct you need to come up with what is comfortable for you with time and i'm pretty sure that you are an intermediate level and you already know what type of things is comfortable for you and this workflow the seven steps will help you to make it just a bit more efficient so let's go start with the pre-production you need to start with the writing of your video ideas and choosing the best one always start with the different ideas with a few ideas of for your youtube video and just choose whether which one you feel comfortable to create right now that's what you're you're choosing uh, what the best one means best one for you right now or you can just go and choose the whatever you think is the best one for your channel at the moment i highly suggest you to choose which one you feel to to be better because again you're doing this for yourself if you are thinking for growth uh, directly not just for having fun for yourself and having pleasure of creating just for this then you can go with the choose the best one which you feel will be the best for your viewers not for yourself then script 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 always create the script for your videos always create at least some type of outline what your video will be the text that you will talk the different footages that you'll need to record every single thing you need to, it needs to be scripted prepared in advance because your you may change it a lot of times and just it's easier to script first and then change some things in script then record and then ch and then re-record anything that you didn't like just script everything beforehand i don't say that write every single word that you will say and write every single picture and every single frame that will pop up on your screen no i'm talking about only about outlines and only about things that 
is most important for the videos the key things script the key things do not script details if you script the details that's even better because this will increase the time workflow of the recording but if you go just with the main thing this will be just fine as well next is preparation for the recording absolutely prepare for the recording so you would not in the mid recording you would not just run away and looking for the things and looking for the settings and looking for the microphones etc etc prepare everything prepare your lighting and yeah always try to use a separate lighting or try to use the natural lighting meaning that uh, record outside or near the window prepare your camera or cameras if you're recording the, uh, with a multi-camera i sometimes do record with a multi-camera but it's very rare and prepare the sound uh, it's better to have a microphone separately and i can i, I wrote it in the recording workflow and pre prepare the microphone or microphones usually the microphone that is within your camera or phone or whatever you're recording is not that good uh, well it, it's actually pretty good but it's better to have a separate camera a separate microphone uh, or at least a lav mic which is very very cheap thing to have and you can record it separately if you wish to do so then go to recording uh, as for the recording record the main footage uh, depending on what your main footage is it can be completely different things again i cannot know what your video you're recording because there are so many different types of videos that you can do and so many things that you can do that i cannot know what you what your main footage will look like will it be your talking headshot uh will it be just your voice maybe your main footage is just your voice if you, uh, because you're doing a voiceover maybe you're doing some gameplay just do the main thing that will be for your video the main thing then record the voice separately this is not after one after another that's usually together if you if your voice usually comes with the main footage but it may be that you are recording it separately for example you are recording your gameplay for example only for the gaming videos you're recording your gameplay and then after this you are just spinning up the footage and then giving your voiceover then you can do it it's absolutely desert to do one after another but uh, by recording the voice separately i mean that record your voice in a separate track mean that you you have you should have an ability to manipulate just your voice without a video or separate it from the video that's that's very important and i'm going to show uh, why i'm talking about this uh, in the, of course in the editing uh, session then record a b-roll if you need to record it b-roll is any single footage that is complementary to the main footage for example if you're doing a, a video review like different shots of the product like with like panning shots uh, close-ups etc etc wide shots this is what, what b-roll is basically everything that is not the main footage for example in review you talking is the main footage you talking you are your review is the main footage product is not main footage product is a b-roll so yeah you can uh, record the b-roll and of course collect all additional footage uh, like it's additional footage it's uh it, it's more goes to the editing phase like it will be like different graphics uh, different animations that you will need to use and yeah this if you do this up right after the recording like it will be it is written in a script if you have it it's not necessary uh, it's easier to record it right collect everything right after recording than just going through the editing and record the, the thing separately because all you need to do is then take all this footage put it down in your computer or ipad or a phone or whatever you are editing it and just start editing it right away again this is the f workflow very simple 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 workflow uh that you need to follow you can follow not that you need and again coming up with a workflow that works for everybody is very very difficult because it is very different for every single one of you uh, that's why i didn't come up with more detail or that's why i didn't show how to record because whatever i'm doing i'm doing it for myself and it works for me and it, it, it may not work for you and i don't just don't want to show you something that may not work for you and in editing i will show you some things that actually works universally for everyone because editing is a bit different and there are things that works for everyone and i'm going to show you those things and yes this will be it for uh, this lecture today and i'm going to continue it in the next one so see you there